Hey guys, welcome back to day 11 of mining Bitcoin using NiceHash. So, um, a lot of people have told me that there are other places to mine and things like that, but one of the reasons why I like NiceHash is that I can easily, instantly, with zero fee, send this to Coinbase and then sell it. So it just makes it a lot easier of a process than mining something like Vertcoin and having to do such a hassle with it. And by the way, um, with Vertcoin, I actually won a raffle which um, of, of five Vertcoins for the Vertcoin December Challenge thing. And um, so there's that. But I've been mining this for about, I don't know, uh, maybe like three to four days kind of straight. right? Or not straight, I took a break for like maybe like a day or two. But um, it looks like it's been using uh, Equihash, and there's another one, Kekak a lot, um, and I believe Lira V2, and those are like the three main ones as you can see, if I scroll back quite a bit. Um, sometimes it goes to other algorithms like this one, but mainly it's, oh, I've been seeing at that, and I've been getting a pretty good hash rate. I believe on Lira V2 it is um, actually quite higher than um, than it was when I was using Vertcoin One Click Miner. Um, but yeah, I get about 73, 72, it looks like, and then with Equihash, I get, um, about 700, um, hashes, and then on Kekak, or whatever that weird name is, is 1.36 giga hashes per second, so that's been going pretty well. I stopped it right now, but it looks like the total amount of money I've mined is $16.60, but that changes, like, um, every few like seconds basically or minutes because the price of Bitcoin changes so you know rapidly if I take a look on the internet and look at the current Bitcoin price ah, crap not the chart just the price um, it's at 17,000 right now so um, it's it's getting back up to where it used to be but it, it did a huge drop I don't know if I can see the the chart but um, I also one other thing oh I just got a subscriber just now um, thank you, Vixie Writer, if you're randomly going to watch this video. But, um, so, uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so I wanted to know if you guys prefer this style of video, where I'm recording my actual screen, or also, I don't know if you can hear my loud computer in the background, but um, also this is the Bitcoin chart right now. But, um, yeah, so I don't know if you prefer me recording my screen like this, or with my phone more, but, um... I, I kind of like both ways, although my phone is a bit easier, but um, this has been going pretty well. So I've been, I've been getting about $9 a day, it's been saying, um, but it changes all, like rapidly all the time. But I, I one thing I did notice, though, is that before, one thing I had forgotten is that um, my account on Coinbase got restricted for um, me entering like this wrong thing once, so I went to go send it to mine and then realized I couldn't sell it because I had forgotten about that thing so I had to send it to um, my uh, my dad's um, Coinbase account actually and apparently there is a Bitcoin fee of like 20 bucks or something like that like I tried to sell I mean send like like $35 or something like that and there was like a huge ass fee of like of, like 20 bucks or something like that it was insane like it was like more than half of all my money was taken away in a fee so I'm just going to be directly sending it to my dad's account from now on because I, I I lost a lot of money but one thing I did buy um, with some of my profits was I did buy a game called Street Fighter 5 and um, I've been having a lot of fun I've played 22 hours of it and um, I really like it a lot but um, what was I gonna do so yeah that's basically it but um, I'm just gonna click mine again and I will see you guys in another video thank you for watching and please subscribe